the Indian markets gained over 1%, climbing to the highest level in more than two weeks, helped by gains in banking and power shares and firm global queues. Polls showed that Greece's pro-bailout parties were gaining support ahead of the June election, reducing fears of a Greece exit. The Sensex gained 199 points to close at 16,417 and the Nifty advanced 65 points to end at 4,986. The rupee settled around 55.2 per dollar, tracking gains in equities. Moody's Investor Service said that depreciating rupee will only have a limited impact on India's sovereign ratings as only 7% of the total government debt was placed overseas, which also helped investor sentiment. In India, oil minister said that there was no immediate plan to raise prices of kerosene, diesel and LPG after the government allowed oil marketing companies to raise petrol prices by 11.5% last week. BPCL slipped 1.9%, HPCL declined 1.2% and ONGC was down 1.3% each. Among the other stocks, ITC advanced 1.2% after net profit for the March quarter was up 26% from a year ago after it raised cigarette prices and improved the sale of other consumer goods. Reliance Communications jumped 2.7% after it reported its first rise in the net profit after 11 quarters. From the banking space, top gainers were Axis Bank, ICICI Bank and Kotak Bahindra Bank, up over 2% each. From the power space, Crompton Greaves was up 3.5% and Lanco Infra gained 2.3%. Top gainers on the Sensex were State Bank of India, up 4.8%, BHEL was up 4.2% and Tata Power advanced 3.8%. Major losers were Gale down 2.6%, ONGC and Maruti slipped 1.3 and 1.2% each.